Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use linear search to find if a number exists in an array or not. So let's try to find number 40. We're going to start at the beginning of the array. So 2 is not 40. This is not 40. That's not 40. Now we found 40. So once we find 40, you can either return true or just return number 3, which is the index or the location of number 40. Let's try to find number 9 in the array. We start here. That's not 9. No. 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 And no. So we didn't find 9 in the array. In this case, you can either return false or return minus 1, indicating that we did not find number 9 in this array. Let's take a look at the Python code. So we have our function linear search. It's going to take in our array or the list, and we're trying to find the number or the target inside the list. N is the size of the array. We traverse through the array starting from the beginning to the end of the list. If the number that we're at is our target, then we return the index at that location. And after the for loop, we know that it's not inside the array, so we return minus 1. You can also use this. You can return true and false instead. And you can test the code using these test cases. In the worst and average cases, you have to traverse the entire list and find the element at the end of the list, or you don't find it inside the array at all, but you have to traverse through the entire array, which is n. The best case is when you find the number right at the beginning of the array, so that is all of 1. In the next video, we will discuss binary search, which is faster than linear search. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.